actually done with a, a hoisin garlic ginger chilli sauce in the middle of the barbecue in a roasting pan for about 45 minutes, really nice and slow. Hoisin made with plums and um, tomato, and it gets it nice and sweet and shiny. The lamb is an Indian, North Indian kebab with spices, sitting on some baba ganoush. Uh, mushrooms with herbs um, and Moroccan spice as well. All right, so get into that. While you're eating, though, um, Hayley is going to use her camera skills to project what I'm doing to the big screen there. Is that beautiful carpet? Yes, yeah, lovely. <laughs> Don't get up their skirts, legs, <laughs> pants. All right. Um, so the first thing I want to do for you is do a, um, an unusual fish recipe. And all the dishes I'm going to do uh, will send around potatoes, except for the mushrooms. You've got mushrooms there already, okay? So, hey, can you just point your camera onto that? So, here's a, uh, a full side of human, which is South of Hobart, premium salmon. And this has been cut into 24 pieces, but it looks like a whole piece. You got colour on that? Yes. It looks like brown, it looks like it's smoked. Sorry. Come closer, <laughs> go closer. Oh. All right. So, <laughs> So if you, have a, if you have a look, what I've done, I've actually cut it and put it back together. So if I just take out a segment, you'll see it there, okay? Um, skin on to protect the bone, pin bone so there's no bones. Push it together and there's a little technique I want to show you here to get flavour through all sides of this little baby. Because, you know, cooking should be fun and it should be tasty. So the first thing I want to do is... Um, Use some kaffir lime leaves. So kaffir lime leaves, native to Asia, they're all a double leaf, used in tom yum soup, green Thai curry paste, all right? Handful like that's around about six bucks. So the best idea is just go to your local botanical gardens one day. <laughs> Grab a hand. Um, but what I want to do here is just, but we don't eat this uh, when you cut up this fat. But this imparts a beautiful flavour uh, into the bottom of the fish. Alright, so this is one of my Asian inspired recipes. Um, and it'll work, it'll work with any fish. But you know, the kaffir lime leaf doesn't have a bouquet until you snap in it with a knife. It's like when you walk past a, you know, a whole bed of mint, you don't smell it until you brush it with your legs and you smell it all of a sudden. Well, the kaffir works the same. So kaffir lime leaf shredded. So I might just pass what you do. Where's Hales? Yeah. So you just get it and you just crush it and that releases the smell. Now I'll pass it round, have a bit of a sniff. And we won't use it again. My mother <laughs> Feel free to spit on it. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> Alright. Um, and sesame seed oil. So they're the two flavours we're going to use for the bottom of this fish recipe. Okay, so I'm just going to keep those to the side. And the fish, because I'm going to do this with the hood down. The fish. I'm going to smear with a paste. This is my. This is called Bart's Asian paste. In a blender, it's um, roasted. It's roasted coriander and cumin seeds ground up, and put into a blender, with garlic, ginger, chili, coriander. All right. Can I quickly ask you a question? Yes. On the tasting plate, other than the couscous, is anything else got nuts in it? No. Who's got the nut allergy? Don't have it. No, 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 not the couscous. Oh. We've taken his plate away. Plate, yeah, give him another plate. No couscous, because that has got pine nuts. Yeah. There's nothing else, no other nuts yeah. in there. What about the lamb? No lamb, no nuts in the lamb. No, no nuts in the lamb. No nuts. No. Um, and then with the paste, um, all we do, we smear, okay? Because what we want to do is create a, a piece of fish that has uh, a beautiful crust on, only on the top, but not the sides. So for a dinner party, you can do this for a whole portion. Mm. Yeah, oh, it is lovely. There you go. So that's done. So now we need to take that all apart and put that on the grill plate. So with the grill plate, I'm going to sit, because this is a quite, a, it's quite a delicate recipe. So, glad bake. Going to cook it on that. Alright, need to make a hole in the middle because there's a drain hole in there and if this paper covers that hole, it'll flambe because raw flames run out there, so you need a hole like that. Alright, so hey, if you want to do this camera, uh, and then 
The cafe lime leaves. We'll just casually put those on the top. There you go. Sesame seed oil. So we're going to give this a really good punch of flavour underneath the fish. Alright. Good. And if you can find this little beauty bite, this is Japanese, double roasted, it is awesome. Beautiful stuff. And then just to um, dilute the oil slightly, extra virgin olive oil. And then, at the barbecue I've got on low, yeah. Normally I do this uh, five or six pieces, uh, and they're 140 grams. But here I've got these; these are about 80 grams, and we've got about 30 pieces. So what I'm doing here, I'm just putting those skin side down, straight on top of the cap here, and those are the mosh pit here. You can probably smell it. The sesame oil, all right. And the, the reason why I leave the skin on, um, all fish is a very delicate protein, and if, if you cook one side that's directly on the heat, with the skin still on, even the scales, it just helps protect the delicate nature of the fish. There's my piece, look at that. Oh, no, did you have beans? 